Hello, howdy folks, and welcome back to the Krokgar Legendary Campaign, Episode 2. We've just... We spent the first double episode conquering all of, what is this, the Kingdom of Beasts, and we raged right up into the Crater of the Walking Dead, and then we used that to club everyone into, in the Devil's Backbone, breaking the spine of the undead, and that's, that's all they have left, right there. That's it. And then, of course, this army, which, who knows, maybe if they die... Then these will be the new silver host. I'm not too sure how that's going to work. But regardless, we can't move in to help Resetra. It's going to either fall or win. I don't know which, but it's going to have to do it. Because this province is way more important for the long term. So Krokgar is going to stay up here regulating until things are a little bit more under control. Uh, we, we probably only really have to wait for this old one monument to finish and crush maybe one more rebellion and then things will probably calm down a little bit. Uh, hopefully we can upgrade Lamia really soon. If we can, we can build um, this altar of Sotek, which gives us a lot of untainted stuff like that. Maybe even a shrine of the old ones on top of it. Well, we'll see. But this doesn't do a whole lot for us, but I guess, you know, 12% income from all buildings in the region could could be handy. We'll we'll see what happens. But now that we have now that we have a a spawning camp and a skink skink spot, we don't need that over here anymore. Let's tear them down. We're just gonna build economy in its place over here. So that's the plan there. Krokgar just finished taking Libris. I haven't even done a turn yet, so we're gonna. We're going to head on up north to crush the rebellion that's about to spawn after this. Should we pick anyone else up while we're here? I don't see why not. Maybe, uh, I, we'll just get two more Saurus. It's only a hundred more upkeep. And uh, might as well have a full stack while we're at it, you know? Might as well. Let's go on into turn 33 and see what happens next in this campaign. Okay. Whoop, what's this? Mount the expedition. Hero defense. Agent success chance. No, we don't have to worry about any of that right now. Krokgar is the law. He is the law. And Lamia is under attack. Ah, yeah, yeah. Damn rebellions. Over here, this rebellion is not taking Resetra, and it looks like it looks like these silver hosts are actually waiting in line if we lose this battle then i think the rebels will probably raise it and then they'll go in and rebuild it which is actually preferable i don't want teotiqua going and rebuilding it i don't care if the silver host has one tier one city for a while it's not going to do anything to us let's go over here and start building some stuff like oh i don't know money more money please Let's go with our geomantic pylons. These take a while to build, but they're really cool. They they should... Oh, well, first of all, it's going to give us tech, which we want, but it, we want to upgrade our cool um, province bonuses there. I like that. Okay. Um, over here... Yeah, we just got to get moving north to pummel those guys. Let's just march... I'm sure we can win even if we take a little bit of attrition. Shouldn't be a problem. And on into turn 34. Here we go. Oh man, look at all those skeletal spearmen. This will be fun. I think we could do it. I think we could do it, but we'll see. Let's do it. Okay, what do we got? Spearmen, spearmen, and they actually have a battering ram, which means we're going to be getting a lot of spearmen in through the gate here. Okay. Let's give it everyone off the walls for now. Let's get... Let's get our source spearmen down there. Can we let's let's get the general in the back. I don't want the general to die. And I think one unit of Saurus could probably hold the gate by themselves for a good while, I think. What's going on with his teeth there? Is that are those teeth or is those 
Is that a decoration? They're like sticking out of his nose. I, um, well, he's got a nose ring, so maybe it is like a decoration? I can't tell. It's really weird. Okay, anyway, enough of that. Let's get our skinks on the wall here. They should be able to club a lot of those spearmen to death. And one more skink. This unit is so large, it could cover both towers. So I like that. And we'll have Saurus reserves in here. That should help. I was going to say for when the undead get tired, but I forget. I don't know if they get tired. They have like binding. I don't know. I think they get tired. Let's, uh, let's get started. We're defending the vampire count city against the vampire counts. Get out of here, guys. We don't want you. Let's fast forward. We might end up doing this whole battle on fast forward because it's kind of just going to be a slug fight. <laughs> Look at these little bats. So they're kind of just like falling out of the sky little by little. The tower is not doing a whole lot, but you can't expect much out of a level two city. It's just not going to do anything. Okay, the gates are down. The skinks are fighting. Great. Everything's going fine. The towers are still shooting down at them, not doing a whole lot. The bats are coming to join, which is an issue. Oh, ladders. Okay, they're going to ladder on up. Let's get a unit of Saurus up there. Let's get a unit of Saurus up here. And we'll shuffle our other Saurus over here. Yep, we'll fight those fell bats. Bring it on, guys. Bring it on. Oh, that's a lot of fell bats. We'll see how this goes for us. We'll see. That's a lot of fell bats. You hear all those skeletons making noise? <laughs> They're excited. If, if a skeletal spearman can be excited, they are excited. Great, we're getting on top of the walls just in time. We're going to clobber those spearmen and anyone else who wants to climb on up. That's not good, though. That's not good. Yep, we lost that. But you know what? That's all right. They're going to have to come down and fight us. I hope the fell bats get on us right now so we can just pummel them all and be done with it. Let's fast forward here. This is not a very exciting siege. It's just not. But we'll, we'll keep an eye on things here. I, I, there's no one to micro or command. It's just a slug fight. So we'll get it done nice and fast like... It is quite a big deal, though. It'd be nice if we can hold on to Resetra. I mean, it would just be nice. We'll let these guys fight, and then maybe we'll cycle them out. Come on, fight them. Over here, not doing the best. Let's get the warriors over there to fight them off. But it looks like they're swarming into the city. Not good. Get all those bats. The bats are tiring us out, I think. They're just tiring us out. Fighting all the spearmen up there on the wall. Slowly but surely. We chased all those off. Let's get in on these spearmen there on the flank. Kind of help our other dinos out. Club them all to death, guys. Just club them to death. Well, some things are disintegrating. That's good. We might make it through this. It looks like we might. Really looks like we might. Over here, we do have some skinks. Why don't we just get them over here? We'll find a good spot for them, I think. But, wow, I think, yeah, I think we're going to win this one, probably. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Let's get over here, and then... Can we maybe get up there? Without touching them? No, all right, well, we'll just get them in the, in the rear there. We'll do some extra damage, that's fine. Over here, we're rampaging. That's fine. 
club them all, guys. Just club them all down. Get this over with. The silver host isn't going to be able to take it after this. Not with that tiny little stack. And it looks like we're really getting through these. Critical binding. Any second now. We're going to start seeing some disintegrations, I think. Unless our skinks break first. Hopefully not. Look at, we're getting a lot of experience, though, by fighting all this stuff. Come on, guys. Don't, don't, don't break. We need you. Wow, who is that? Is that a vampire? Oh, it's a ghoul. Okay, he's getting beaten on. If he goes down, that could be it. That's it. We tick, we win, we keep the city. That's great. Lovely, lovely. Do we get some money out of it too? Hey, thanks guys. Thank you. Let's kill and eat them so we have enough um, for the next attack. Research rate, recruitment cost. Yeah, we're not recruiting. Let's do that again. Why not? One turn already for... Wow, I like those options. They're really good for us. Okay, over here. We're moving right along. Let's go beat on these rebels. Yep, no problem. Bonk. Let's go with the extermination there. Why not? Charge bonus, 6%. Oh, okay. Another hibernation attendant. Cool. Do you, you've got one. And I think you have one as well. Yeah, we can't get two. Banner of swiftness, charge bonus, lich bone. Yeah, we'll wait for better stuff. Let's go on into Lamia here and replenish. Oh, good. Look at that. We're already positive. And we got the corruption, we have the scouting. Let's go with, hmm. Yeah, sure, we'll get the Pterodon for now and then we'll go for the uh, Stegodon when we're level 15. Free, free dinosaurs, basically, is what I think of that. Lamia, you're still waiting for an upgrade, which next turn we're going to be able to start on that. That's good. Resetra, you need to build up. And what else are we doing here? I think it's time for the old one monument. Wow, you're already on to another rebellion, but it looks like that's not, of a, not much of a problem. The gray host will probably attack next turn when they should be dead, I think, if I have it, if I understand rebellions correctly. Let's go on into turn 35. Great. Leadership plus 12 casualty. Good God, no. All right. This is probably going to be kind of a housekeeping episode, so I'm going to see if we can pass the turns as soon as possible and get into some exciting stuff. So let's just get moving on it. Over here, Resetra's under attack by the left, the last of the silver host or whatever. Boom, they're dead. I guess we'll go with experience. Why not? That didn't quite kill him, but at least it gave us experience. And... With Croc over here... We're at plus eight and rebuilding. Let's get moving down to Maroc. It's at plus two. That's good. We could probably go down here and, and maybe save Resetra and then settle the Doomglade so that we can get some province bonuses here. That'll work. Let's go into turn 36. Okay, well that was interesting. Plus 20 for all armies, nice. The rebels kicked the, the silver host, is that what they're called, the silver host? Yeah, the rebels kicked the silver host out of the siege and then took over themselves. Which is not good because we're not ready for another siege. So let's keep moving down there, we gotta save it. 
We have to save it, and we're only negative one here for now. Oh, wow, the vampiric corruption is going way up because we don't have any untainted bonus here. So that is bad. We really need to get... Yeah, we really need to get some of these buildings up here. But Lamia, a level three Lamia has two Croxagors, three Skinks, three Saurus, and a Scar Veteran, which can probably beat the pants off any Rebellion, so... That should be okay. Let's, uh... Do we want walls in the Cursed Jungle still? Hmm... We'll leave them there for now, because we're going to be going to war with Teotihuacan at some point. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go to turn 37, I think. Sure. Great. Minerad failed again. Sure. Yep, and now we got fortunate. Nice. Okay. Let's go down there and kill this, this, uh, whatever. Rebellion? Is that what it's called? Yep. Charge bonus, huh? Well, I think we know who wants that. Magic. Okay. Boom, they're dead. Let's uh, get experience. Eric. Can we kill the golden host while we're at it? Can we just get him out of the way? Boom. No more golden host. Or, or you know what? They're just going to last literally forever. That's fine, too. That's fine, too. Let's get to Resetra here. Oh, that feels good. Hey, wait a minute. Did I lose two units of something? I thought we had a full stack. Or did I... I don't think I saw anything die. Maybe we lost some skinks? Who knows? Weird. Level 18 with old Krokgar here. We have two skill points. Two of them. Spawnkin. What is this? Skinks and Kroxigors. Missile. Melee defense. I'm probably going to end up just getting all of these because they're all awesome. Let's go with the one that makes the most sense for now. We're going to be getting some Croxagors, and we do have some Skinks right now, so that'll be good. And I think it's time to start working on this stuff, going on up to Quartermaster, or whatever lizardy equivalent. Level 13. Let's get Curse of the Midnight Wind. That looks like it gives a pretty awesome debuff, so let's take that. And that's it for Croxagor, or for Krokgar this turn. Yep. And turn 38, I think. Here we come. All right. Well, okay. No. Annoyingly, this gr the silver host is still at it, and they managed to siege us to stop us from replenishing. Can we finally just kill this guy? Nope. <laughs> Well, I guess it's just giving us experience or something. Come on, man. Just just die. There he goes. Good lord. Good lord. They're finally dead. Uh, but we got a bunch of good stuff out of it. Let's start heading down to the Doom Glade. We're just going to go and settle it. We've got another point here. Let's go into Fervent. More untainted, please. And what do we want to get here? Income from industry, resource buildings, missile damage and weapon strength for skinks. Oh, ammo. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Anything we want to do over here? We're almost ready to upgrade the Temple of Skulls, but we're not quite there over here. Lamia's working on it. One more turn for Lamia, and then things are really going to start turning around over here. I can't wait. Let's go ahead and get turn 39. Great. Wisdom of the Old Ones, construction cost, construction time. Don't think we need that right now. I think it's about the time. Can we get there? Oh, really? Well, why don't we just move a little bit? Like that, and then next turn we can get in there. Let's just set up camp here and get a little replenishment going. 
Oh, Lamy, look at all those slots. And it looks like these other cities are already ready to upgrade. Let's get Marek going, because I want to get some walls there. And Lamia. Diamonds, for sure. Let's get this altar of Sotek. And... Yeah, I think a garrison will probably do good, but what else can we get instead, like military-wise? Yeah, let's get some cold ones. Spo horned one. Now, okay, well, we can't get the Weapon Crafters Commune until we're Tier 4 anyway, so we don't really need that. The Shrine of the Old Ones is nice. But not absolutely necessary. Let's just get a garrison here. There could be a point in the campaign where I am super happy I got that garrison. So I'm just going to get it. And maybe we should upgrade the Grand Plaza as well. I don't think we have any um, upgraded happiness buildings. Yeah, no, we don't. So that's going to unlock some technology, which is good. And I think we're on to turn 40. Resetra, are you doing anything cool? No, but almost. Nice. We're already working on some untainted plus one all provinces. Yeah, let's do that. And let's get evasion with our little skinky. Right, we're going to be picking up some of the cool stuff now, pretty soon. And I think it's time to go settle the Doomglade. Boom. Boom. That should really help. Oh, wait, does it... It doesn't take any population. Great. And sequence of skirmishing. Yep, let's just move along with that. We're actually positive on the... Public order for now. It's, oh, because we finished the old one monument, of course. And we're ready to get more growth, more public order, more income. Hooray! One of the best capital thingies ever. Commandments, right? Is that what it's... I think that's what it's called. Let's get money over there in the cursed jungle. Don't, we have to build another stone marker somewhere. Maybe I'll build it here in the Doom Glade. It's part of his secret item quest. I think it's time to go to turn 41. We're just trying to look at all this stuff building up in Lamia. We dropped all our money on it, but boy, is it going to be rewarding when it's done. Oh, yes. Moving on. Great. N almost nothing happened. Let's fork over for the Temple of Skulls. Boom. That's going to be nice. Lamia, one turn till a whole bunch of stuff is done. We really need that anti-corruption. It's only plus four untainted. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. And Resetra, you're all right. We're, we're going to be healing up just fine with Krokgar. We're going to be taking the fight down to Teotihuacan pretty soon to pretty much secure everything. Can we... Are they gonna... Well, they really want a defensive alliance, but they're not quite in on the Confederation yet, and I don't know why. We, we have to be stronger than them. I don't know. We'll go down there and we'll show them we're stronger than them by clubbing them all to death because, uh... You know, there's only room in the great plan for one of us. Turn 42. Okay. Another nothing turn. Boy, it's, it's just so different than playing Marathi, isn't it? <laughs> it's just so different. What can we do down here? Let's see, we can get some wood, but who cares about that? I guess we'll just get some skink favelas because there's nothing else to do. Boom, more money. Resetra, yeah, I don't want to upgrade the Doom Glade because Resetra is almost ready for another level. We really need it. Yeah, we're going to hold off on that one. And how are we doing up here? Everything finished. And now we have a sweet garrison. Yeah, we don't need... I don't care if we have rebels up here now. We, we should be okay. 
the corruption is definitely going to equalize a little bit in our favor. Well, not quite in our... Yeah, it's going to be in our favor. That's good. That's very good. Everything's everything's going according to plan. Libraries, we're going to upgrade next turn. Awesome. Now, the question is, what do I want to do here before... Do I want to recruit anything? Yeah, let's go let's go pick up some cold ones. We'll go up here, we'll pick up some cavalry, and then we'll make our move on Teotiqua. I want cold ones so that we have at least some like some solid anti-large in case he's got a dino army. We're gonna need that. Um Let's keep moving. Cool. Oop. Commit to the plan. Minus 50% casualties suffered from attrition. No. Uh, I'm used to dealing with attrition. On Legendary, everyone gives you attrition and you can't survive any of it. So that's just the way it is. Let's upgrade these walls on Marak. That's a good idea. And what do we get for iron? Nothing cool, pretty much. Nothing cool at all. Should we get the scrying pool? It does give us some technology. What else does it give us? Hero success. Campaign movement range for armies starting in the region, huh? How how big is the Maroc region? There's It doesn't have any dividing lines in the middle, unfortunately, so I don't know how big. I mean, it seems like it could be pretty cool for when we're mounting attacks, we can get out of here quicker. And it does give us... Is that like a... It can't be globally. Hero agent success chance plus 10%. Uh, it just seems so... Who cares, if you ask me? What is this? Pterodons? A whole building just for pterodons? Nah, I don't think I really care about that. I mean, pterodons are good and annoying. I'd probably use them in multiplayer, but in a campaign, I don't think, I don't think I'd be using them. We could always go with this. We'll get public order, we'll get untainted. And both of those are probably pretty good. Let's do that. Yeah, that's going to that's going to solidify our hold in this region and that also means I won't have to build it here. Wait, what else? okay, we have 3 slots left. We'll we'll want Let's see, we are all oh, these two are already done. We're going to want a beast lair, so that's one slot. We're going to want... The geomantic web, that's another slot. There's some things that aren't an option here. That are an option in the city. And then we'll probably build the top tier one somewhere else. So yeah, let's go ahead and just do this. It's, a, it's, a, it's an easy, moderately cheap way to get a real grip on this region. And let's park in Liberus and pick up... Oh, damn it. Let's not do that for now. Let's drop those skinks there and pick up... Cold One Rider, Cold One Spear Rider. Yeah, let's go with the Spear Riders. That's going to be totally worth it. Resetra, you're on the verge of another rebellion, but there's not much we can do about it. Let's just wait. Yeah, next turn, you're going to be able to work on your holy ziggurat. Boom. Okay. Let's get working on Resetra there. We're going to need that. Marak, do we have enough left over? No, we don't. One more turn for the Spear Riders, and I think that's it here. Temple of Skulls still going. Boom. 45. Oh, what's this? Military alliance. Nope. I'm about to betray you, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you'll want to uh, confederate. No? Well, go to hell. All right, skinks are coming along. Let's buddy up to clan moors temporarily here. I just want... I just want enough time to crush these lizard men and move on. Do 
Do we want to upgrade Liberus, or do we want to upgrade the Doom Glade, or is there the Temple of Skulls ready? No, it's not ready yet. Let's up. Let's just upgrade Liberus here, so we can get our final spawn pool available for us here. And it might be enough on the public order. I don't know. We'll find out. We're ready. We're ready to come down on these guys hard. Let's let's march towards Resetra. We'll just beat the uh, rebels over the head on our way down here. And sequence of purpose, sure. More damage for skinks. That's it. Let's go on into turn 46. All right. Let's go down there. Give them the old... Oh, damn it. We're trying to collect some pelts, but you know what? It doesn't always work. Resetra's still moving. Let's get the Doom Glade on its way as well, since we have the money and the growth. We're actually running out of money. That's why we have to take these two provinces. They're going to be a gold mine. The Temple of Skulls is ready. What can you do here as far as money goes? Not a whole lot, actually. I was hoping for a little bit more. We'll probably build a scrying pool here so we can get the technology. But other than that, there's not a lot to do. That's kind of a shame. Okay, that's fine. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. Let's go ahead and get on into turn 47. We're going to come down here and start scouting these guys out since we have military access. I know, guys. It's probably not the nicest thing to do, but you know what? They're not in the they're not in the great plan. What can we do? What can I do? I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. We just have to go ahead and absorb. Okay. Winds of magic. All right. Maroc. What can we do here? We can't get that. Iron is just lame. Why don't we... Well... I would much rather... Get something else here. Ah, humbug. We'll leave it. Libris will probably get some skink favelas. Just for that... I mean, we need lots of money to, to build everything up. Sure. Okay. Let's club these guys. Piece of cake. Boom. Let's just go with the captives. Lots of money. Thank you. More. Wow. I like it. Let's start moving this way. We'll get an eye on it. We'll scout it out. Level 20 with Croc Guard. Does that mean we get Honored Elder? Public Order, All Provinces, Upkeep Lord's Army, Upkeep Lord's Army. Wow. Let's do it. Boom. That helps a little bit. And why not Free Dino? Boom. Great. Curse Jungle moving all right. We have a lot of money now. Do we want to put it in over here? You know what I want to know? Does do both of these stack? Like if we have two altars of Sotek? <laughs> Does it work? Two altars of Sotek? I don't know. I have no idea. Let's just go with this one to play it safe. I just want, I'm mostly interested in the untainted and a little bit of public order just so that this place knocks off the shenanigans forever and ever until the end of time. And that's it. Turn 48. I have no idea how long this episode is run because I'm going to spend like an hour cutting it all out. And it says like 47 minutes recorded, but it's probably more like five actual gameplay. So I don't know. Let's just keep going. Oh, Krokgar is becoming quite the little builder, I guess. We've actually secured this province so much that we're not taking attrition anymore. Okay. Resetra has upgraded. Let's just put the walls there. Yeah. It's just like this, this, and this. All walls. 
That that should keep the enemy at bay, whoever they may be. Do we do we replenish here? No, we don't. Dang, that's annoying. Let's just scoot in a little bit more and camp. Just take a look around. Not quite sure, but Teotihuacan looks like quite the big deal. Quite the big deal there. Yep, this could be tough. I'm not sure if I have the right stuff to do it. Last time, last time I did it, I had like temple guard and stuff, but we're we're kind of putting a rush on things. We're not even close to temple guard. We're not even close to that. We do have a lot of sword spears. I mean, Krokgar is a a beast. But it depends. I don't know. We'll get closer to Teotihuacan and see what we can do. We might be able to just take him out in one fell swoop. Move. Oh, there's a harbinger if I've seen any. Ooh. Yes. Give us a Scar Veteran. Speed plus 15% Strider. You know what? That is not bad. That's not bad. What can we give him here? Um... Let's go with... He's already got a lot of armor. We'll go with the magic resistance. Let's go with that. Physical resist? Sure. Missile resistance? Uh, okay. And another hibernation attendant. Yeah. I think we're going to put him in, in Krokgar's army as well. Because, I mean, think about it this way. A, a hero has, like, all this cool stuff, and they can mark, mount a Carnosaur. So why should I why should I have individual units of Carnosaurs if I could just have heroes that have a bunch of abilities and are a Carnosaur at the same time? So, wow, each one of these guys at level 20 gives us public order? Sheesh. Okay. So that's the idea with that. I might have like multiple scar veterans in every single army because they they just mount stuff and run around on on dinos. That could be cool. We'll see if it's we'll see, you know, practice is different than theory. Let's take a look around here real quick. Everything's just kind of moving along. Should we get some walls there? Eh. Why don't we just go with a stone marker? I have to build another one of those somewhere, so right here is going to be the place. Let's get closer to Teotihua. Boy, that's... That's really awful movement, Krokgar. You can't do better than that. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a piece of cake. Let's see. Skink priest, temple guards... Lots of Croxagors and Ancient Stegodon. Well, I mean, piece of cake, sort of. Let's just get all the way. We should be fine. We're going to attack Teotihua next turn. Sorry, buddy. It was nice. It was nice being friends, but, you know, great, great plan, etc. Let's... Oh, Liberus. What are you ready to do? I think Skink Favelas. Was that the idea? I think it was. Money is good. Let's move on. Great. Let's take a look around here before we dive in. Resetra. You're doing okay. Wow, the Vampiric Corruption is going up to 100%. That's not good. But, uh, hey, next turn we're going to have some walls, so we're fine. Over here, we're, we're raking in the dough. I mean, we can't argue about that, and we finally finished our Shrine of the Old Ones, so yeah, Vampiric Corruption's going down pretty much permanently. And that's no lo that's a thing it's a thing of the past. Everything's on lockdown up here. No problem. Down here I oh, I have like the hiccups now. It's time. It's time. We're not quite ready, but I think we're ready enough. This is probably a good siege to end the episode on. Because this episode, you know, 
so there's a lot of housekeeping. I'll put it in the comments if you want to avoid it. But, you know, this is, it's just important. We can't just go running around willy-nilly while everything goes to hell over here. So, let's go to Teotihuacan. Yep, we're declaring war. Sorry, buddy. Boom. Oh, boy, look at this. Ooh, Krotkar is ready to rock. Why do we have to keep giving out this Lichbone pennant? It's probably every time he gets a mount that we have to, like, read. I don't know. Who knows? Do we need a siege tower? No, we've got plenty of dinosaurs. We can ladder on up. We're going to club them all good. Let's get in there and have a lot of fun. After I pour myself a cup of coffee, I'll be right back. Okay, let's go clubbing. Twenty mana with forty in reserve. Well, okay, I'll take it. Teotiqua. Yeah, okay, we've we want you, sure. We definitely want you. Let's see what we're gonna do here. How is this gonna work? I know how it's gonna work. Brute force, my favorite. My favorite way to handle sieges, just get in and kill everyone. Super fun, super sketchy. <laughs> I think I think the skinks will probably take this corner so that they can mob it better. Krokgar, how about you go ahead and head up this bit? Oh, let's get a look at this guy. Holy cow. What a legendary lord. What a legendary lord. Wow. Okay. You know, I'm kind of bummed we haven't gotten any blessed troops yet. We've only got even offered one. I want to get some blessed Saurus. Those guys are awesome. They never get tired. Oh, wait. Let's look at the... Whoa, look at this thing. I haven't seen this thing before. I just haven't. Oh, cool. Does it, like, throw things? Yeah, it does poison, anti-armor piercing missile damage. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 53% missile resistance? Terror? Holy cow. This is gonna be a lot of fun. This is gonna be fun. I am so excited to be doing this campaign. We're gonna go around the world clubbing everything. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay, let's get our spearmen. They're gonna be the ones um, flooding through the gate and all the Saurus are gonna go on the walls and beat everyone to death. And I guess... Let's get our ancient Stegodon and our cavalry over here. The Stegodon will bust down the gate with the cavalry and we'll flood in over here. Stegodon kills the infantry, cavalry kills the, uh, whatever else is there. Piece of cake. This is going to be fun. I, I guess Krokgar is going to be the one taking down the gate here. Let's get started. Everyone go. Actually, let's just arrow forward. It's the easiest way. Everyone go. Krokgar, gate, skinks, corner, get to that corner, over here, everyone forward there, let's get our pterodon in on that, and all the cold one riders, actually just everyone get, do it, just everyone do it, Krokgar's mad, he's gonna break down the gates himself, no problem, Saurus there, Saurus there, Saurus there, Saurus there, Saurus there, and Saurus there, awesome. This city does not stand a chance if I would have to wager on it. Well, uh, wow, look, is, uh, wait, no, are they shooting like a, a ballista? Oh, they are! Look at that! No wonder it does so much damage. Okay, I see it now. Whoa! Oh, that poor little skink! That poor little skink! Not the right day to be here. Not the right day. Let's get another ballista bolt up there. Oh, that was close, but it's actually destroying the crenellations. That's cool. Okay, all our skinks are here. Let's go ahead and start mobbing these walls like this. Yep, that should be good. Let's take them on in numbers with the skinks. How about over here? Lots of damage. Ladders are going up everywhere. Croc cars working on the gate. Nice. This should be moving along just swimmingly for us. Teotiqua is pretty much ours, I think. The gate's going down. 
This gate's going down. Okay, we're climbing the walls. The Saurus are so slow, but you know, they gotta they gotta have at least some drawbacks. What's it like looking inside? That's quite a pile of stuff and an ancient stegodon as well. Chameleon skinks. Did they just abandon the walls? It looks like they did. We'll just keep piling up here. We'll get down there very soon. I want to. Oh, is the gate open? Oh, they're gonna they're gonna bug us out, aren't they? Is that what they're trying to do? Oh my gosh! Come on! I'm so tired of these bugs. Can we just attack them? Okay, great. Yeah, they open the doors. We're just gonna go in. Can we do that in here? Can you just get in there, Crocgar? Looks like it. Spearman, get in. Please do it the smart way. Smart. Are, are, you, are you guys going for the ladders? Nope. Let's just keep you guys in reserve. Can we get our Stegodon through there? Of course we can. Look at that big old beastie. Okay. Over here, we're still climbing up. These guys are in charge of clubbing those skinks. We're clubbing everything. Everything's getting clubbed real good. Over here. Looks like it's under control for now. Okay, that means we can start climbing down the wall here. And get these swords in the rear. Where's our mage? Mage, can we do a wind blast? I don't know, like this maybe? That minimum range is tough. All right, here we go. Boom. Wow, look at all that damage. That cleared the way. That cleared the way for us. Hit those Croxagors. Let's do this. Let's do that. I really need to get standard die because that's really good for these gate crashing missions. More spears. Where's where's all the spears? Come on, all the spears. Get in here. All the spears on those Croxagors. We've got some... Saurus sitting around. What's in here? Saurus, Warriors, Saurus, Warriors, Saurus, Warriors, Croxagors. Wow, okay, we're... This battle is not over yet. It's just not over yet. We'll keep these Saurus here to block the way for now. While we club all these guys to death. Let's get over there. Let's get the next unit of Saurus here into the city. Wait, are you... Oh, what is... Their Stegodon has come outside. Okay, I don't know what they're doing, but don't do that. Get on that. Wow, that thing is huge. Okay. Club those guys. You guys get over there. Club all of them. Over here. Oh my god, did you see that? That was intense. Well, things aren't the best over here. They're not the best. That's a lot of units that our Cold One Riders are contending with. They might die, but that's okay. It's all part of the plan. It is all part of the plan. Croxagor is having a, or we're having a little trouble with Crocgar over here, right? That's what it looks like. These Croxagors are giving us some trouble, but that's kind of expected. Our mage. I think it's time to start getting over here with the mage. Yep, that should do good. Can, can he do it, though? Sometimes it helps to do the waypoint like this. The Croxagors are just blocking us in, it looks like. Come on, Crocgar. Take him down. Let's get our normal Saurus out of there. Let's get all the spears on those things. Come on. All right, the Stegodon has had enough. It's had enough. Let's kill these Croxagors. Super tanky, super monsters. In here, we're clubbing them all good. Saurus, yep, help out over there. Oh, these Temple Guard have been holding out. That's what the problem is over here. Holy cow, Temple Guard. No wonder. No wonder. Club those guys, club those guys. You guys, get over here. How's our mage doing? Is he able to get out yet? Is he able to get out yet? There he goes, he's moving along. That's the one thing about not being on a pterodon, but I will take dino, super dino any day. 
Let's rest with those source before we get in for that final push there. Come on, kill those. I don't know what. He's just raging over there. Boom. Come on. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. Oh, tail whip on those poor escape. So, wow, those source just broken right in half. Okay, yep, we're shattering them all pretty good. We need to get over here with the mage, though. He is going to do some major damage over there. Let's drop one of these. Ooh, that should help us survive a little bit until we get into position. Let's, let's scan here. What do we want? Let's do it like this. Like that. Boo! Oh, lots of damage there. Let's close in for the foe. Oh my, okay, he's going to just do that. Saurus. Good, good. Everything's under control over here. Let's start moving in here. Everyone assemble over here. Yep, that looks all right. What's going on over here? Skinks with javelins. Come on, guys. Get on them. We're raging over here, sadly, but that's all right. Let's start getting the source this way. Yep, they're closing in for us. Can we can we go like this and hold them like that? With uh, yeah, let's go ahead and heal up here with with Krotgar. Does this? No, just it's just hit points. Yeah, he's exhausted. Let's let's keep maneuvering there. Wow, Teotihuacan is not going down without a fight. Not without a fight. Let's get another. Oh, that's not it. Another wind like this. Boom. Oh wow, that almost annihilated that skink cohort. Nice. But it looks like we lost all our spear riders in this one. Just go ahead and disengage, guys. Just get out of here. Oh, this is getting close. At least it is over there. We're going to win, I think. Pretty sure we're going to win. Krokkar is ready for his action again. Oh, they're back. Let's get some spearmen on that. They'll handle it, hopefully. Let's sound our horn. Sound the rally. Over here. Yep, that slant is... He doesn't... Oh, we're like out of mana, too. Well, they're, we're, they're just going to have to deal with it. Come on, just just withdraw, guys. Just withdraw. No point in sticking around anymore. Back to the jungle. All right, so it's looking like it's going to be a slugfest over here. These Saurus, get moving. Yeah, kill that slan. Over here, our skinks are slowly wearing them down. That was the plan, of course. The skinks are just going to slowly have to deal with it. They did pretty good, though. Look at that. Not bad. Yep, they're running for it over here. The slan, he's floating away. He's done. He says, no more, please, no more. But we say, uh, we're not quite done with you. You should have confederated. We, we gave you the offer. We offered it to you, but you denied it. So this is what you get. Let's rally again. Might as well keep spamming it. Doesn't hurt. Let's heal ourselves. Oh, the hero goes down. Totally goes down. Let's get all our Saurus over here now. Yep, this is, this is pretty much the closing moment. Wow, what? Oh, they're chameleon skinks. That would explain the problem. Okay. Well, we're almost through them. We're just chewing them up. Just chewing them up. Come on, all you guys, get get going. Oh, they're, okay, that's it. Beautiful. Teotihuacan is ours, and they're all but doomed. So. Well, we lost our two Spear Riders, but that's all right. We'll just pick up some more. 
Oh, enough of these leadership banners. Let's just loot and occupy for that sweet cash. Nice. All right. Teotihuacan. Level four right off the bat. Let's tear down all these military structures. We don't need any of that. What, do we want this? We get more skink priests. And skink priests are pretty sweet. Sure, it's only cost 2,000 and we get to keep it. No, we don't. We're gonna build the beast den at the other at the other spot, and we'll tear this down too. Teotihuacan is gonna be just money, just money. Croc car level 21. Level 21. What does this do? Wow. Lord's Army. Everyone just gets massive. Oh my gosh. We'll, we'll be taking these later as it becomes more um, like a good reason to do so. Like if I take kill the if I take extinguish the green skins and then the dwarves kill them all, it's a waste of a skill point. So yeah, we'll, we'll see about that one. Why don't we go ahead and take fervent here? I want to start getting into this upper upper tier blue tree. So, so we can start fielding another stack soon. And Temple of Skulls. Not a lot here for you. What does this do? Lord Recruit Rank Siege Holdout Time. It gives us technology, which I guess is nice. Aye, aye, aye. Might as well upgrade our Geomantic Spire. It takes forever. Over here, we're just fine. I think we should put in for... Skink Chief, huh? Oh, they assassinate. Uh, and they... Well, they also replenish troops. We do need a scout, though. I do want a scout. And a Skink Chief sounds like he would probably make the best type of scout. So let's let's put in for that. That's going to work. Over here, why don't we upgrade our favelas? I really like having that money flow. We really need it. That's not nearly enough to field another stack. So, yeah, that's that's why we're doing that. Okay, next turn we take the golden tower. Let's just sneak that into this episode, I think. Or, you know what, let's just call it into this episode. It could be an hour long. I'm, I'm expecting to cut out a lot of end turn waiting. But... Um, I'll probably put in the comments when this siege started and just write down like, hey, uh, this is kind of a housekeeping episode, so. All right, that's it. Thanks thanks for watching, guys. We're about to start getting really in the thick of it with the orcs, I think. Maybe even the dwarves. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out soon because no one trusts us now that we've killed Teotihuacan, so we could be looking at a variety of wars right on the horizon. And of course, it is legendary, and we know that the major factions do not screw around. So I think we're just starting here. I think we're just starting. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.